Hey, what's going on guys? I decided to make a video because it's been about a minute since I made one. And um, I'm going to answer one question in this video because it's the more pressing question of all the questions I got. I will get to the questions video this weekend. I promise you I'll have that up by Monday. So um, that's my goal is to get that out of the way, done, dealio, finished. Um, this was question was posed to me, what I think of Oregon's allegations. And what I think of the allegations right now are, well... Um, surprised that they're a little more than what we thought they were, but not shocked that they're a little more than what we thought they were. I mean, come on. We did start winning at an alarming clip. Let's just all be real. We came out of nowhere. Um, but all those fans out there who are like, yeah, Oregon's going to get hammered. Ha ha, fuck you. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Screw that noise. We're not going to get the hammer. We're going to get, um, what would you call it uh the wiffle ball bat <laughs> i don't know like how to put a funny spin on that we're gonna get not a slap on the wrist but not a hammer we're gonna get somewhere in between and that's the gray area us duck fans are trying to figure out is where is the ncaa gonna go with this because let's all face it if anybody has a lack of institutional control in the ncaa it is the ncaa themselves because they are all over the map with this shit they Fuck themselves over on the Miami investigation. Totally. Any credit the NCAA had left went out the fucking door with that investigation. That's for damn sure. Um, then um, people are saying like, oh, uh, Oregon's dirty. Vacate all the wins. No, we're not going to be losing wins. The wins and the bowl wins will stay. We'll still be that. Um, it's just, it might look a little tarnished right now, but it's not like we p played, paid players to come here. We just threw a little cash here during a visit or during a lunch, whatever, stuff like that. Or, um, an extra clothes here or there, you know, stuff like that. A few extra texts through the recruiting period. Nothing real uber major in and of itself, but you just add all these little things up and it makes into some big stuff. And that's where I think, realistically, we're going to see a three to four year probation period. And during that time, a loss of maybe five to ten scholarships a year and some practice time. And maybe a recruiter or two will have to come off the trail. But other than that, I really don't see a huge effect on Oregon or a huge um, penalty on Oregon. I don't see us getting a bull ban in the end. And if we do, it's going to be one year. We're not going to get Penn State's ban. We're not going to get USC's ban. We're going to get a little one-year ban. Just, hey, straighten up and fly right um, kind of thing from the NCAA is how I feel it's going to go down. I could be completely wrong. They could come out and say, whoa, what the truck is happening over here. Um, get your shit together. Uh, you're now on a three-year bull band. Knock on some wood, that doesn't happen. Because that would freaking suck. That would really suck. But uh, I just don't see that happening. And all the Beaver fans out there just licking their chops that they're going to have a chance to knock us off our pedestal a little bit. And that ain't happening. That's not going to happen. Guarantee you, even if we're on a bull ban, and we're still going to beat the crap out of you come December. So that's that part of the video. Then I wanted to talk about this whole uh, commissioner thing now that it's over. I know I'm kind of late to the party on this, but sue me. So Clemson owns, owns up to it. You know, we all know that. Good on you, Clemson owns. It was fun. It was exciting. It was, um, it gave life to the off season because we all know it's boring as hell. Then somebody went too far and flagged a video. That shit sucks. That shit didn't need to happen. I know you had nothing to do with it. That I believe you on that one. That's fine. Um, and then BBD makes a video saying like all these young guys suck. And I didn't take it to heart. I took it as constructive criticism. Like, look, you guys need to get your act together. The TTC isn't what it was, and that's partly our fault. Um, but he did take some of the blame too, which I commend him for. Uh, but then Savage Tiger, Savage Tiger, as he usually does, takes shit way too personal, because his name was mentioned in the video, and, you know, he made a video later on that 
he changed up the words that he calls people because we all know the freaking four words that he uses. Cunt, coward, pussy, motherfucker. Like, we all know those words from Savage Tiger. He changed up the words a little bit. Still threatened him a little, you know, blah, blah, blah. None of my never mind. Um, I'm going to take it as constructive criticism. I'm going to start getting better at it. I already have things written down I want to do for certain trash talking weeks. Uh, of course, I've been planning this Tennessee hate week for a while now. And like I mentioned, there is a um, an alliance brewing with this trash talking circle. And it might not be who you think it is. You know, it, it might be someone lurking in the weeds to say. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to be fun. And, um, yeah, that's about that. I'm, I mean, I'm not mad at BB. I actually oohed with him that night. He made the video. And he's like, well, I didn't see your comment on the video. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't make one. He's like, did I make you mad? I was like, no, it's cool. So, thank you, BBD. You opened my eyes. I gotta get better. And we can all get better in our own little ways. We can all do better. There's always room for improvement. Nobody's perfect. Um, even Magnum, no matter what he might think. <laughs> or any Georgia fan on here. <laughs> And that's what I, that's the funny part, is I went back and looked at some of my videos, and over half my videos, where I'm not talking trash to teams Oregon are playing, are about two Georgia fans, an LSU fan, and a Notre Dame fan. Like, four, three fan bases Oregon did not face last year, I talked smack with during the offseason, and even during the season, I talked crap with Notre Dame, um, up until they beat Oklahoma, then I was just like, whoa, okay, <laughs> Then, so, I'm looking forward to that, and I would hope that some guys would come back. Like, that would be fun for some guys to come back, some of the guys I hear about. Give me more people to talk shit with. Uh, but I'm going to wrap this video up. I just am going to wrap it up by saying thoughts and prayers go out to all those who were affected by the Boston bombings at the marathon, and to anybody who has family there. I hope um, they're all okay and safe. And thoughts and prayers also go out to Waco, Texas. There at the fertilizing plant. I mean, kind of two different scenarios. One was a plot to do damage to purposely harm American citizens. And one was, I think, just an awful disaster that is an accident. And it's an awful accident, but still um, tragic nonetheless. So again, thoughts and prayers go out to those uh, affected. Y'all have a good one. And new saying, I started it. Uh, fast, hard finish. It's not just a motto. It's a way of life. Y'all have a good day. Go Ducks.